Alright, so I've waited long enough to make this review happen. It's been three years ever since the very first Hobbit movie. Well, actually two years, technically. Two years ago, around December, the very first Hobbit movie came out. And it was probably one of the greatest films of 2013 or 12. Was it 2012 or 2013? I don't freaking remember. It's 2012. Sorry about that. Um, Hobbit 1 came out. Personally, it's one of my favorite movies of the Hobbit movies cuz you got you got Bilbo who meets Gandalf and Gandalf asks him if he wants to go on an adventure of course Bilbo's like no nah, no nah, I don't I don't really feel up for another adventure but he has to go on in anyways cuz he says you know what fuck it Hobbit 2 comes out 2013, year later. The Smog one. Now, this one is the one where you meet Smog for the first time. Smog. Smog. They could have done way better than that dragon. They turned him into a, I want to say a drake instead of a dragon, if you know what I'm talking about, of course. I have a friend of mine who can explain in great detail on why this smog suck. But um, the Benedict Cumberbatch did a really good job with smog, and of course with uh, Sauron. That was pretty freaking cool. Hobbit 3. This one's the one where you need to bring tissues. Because this one made me cry. And this is the review. This is my review for The Hobbit. All three movies. All mixed into one review. Now, I'm not sure if I've reviewed any of the other two movies. But if I did, screw all those other reviews. This one is about all three movies. Now there's a lot of people that said all this could have been avoided and it could have just been mixed into two movies instead of three. So what was the use of having three movies? Well, when you read the book, it seems that the battle would have taken about as long as Peter Jackson did, or maybe even longer than Peter Jackson did in the movies. It seemed like it took that long. The major concern about this movie is that they kind of drew out couple of those scenes a little too long. And what, what, what I mean about that, I mean Legolas doing his little thing. I don't even know why Legolas was even added into the movie. I don't even think he was in the book at the time. I don't really know for sure. But um, the love story between that one chick and that one dwarf can't really remember their names at the moment, but I eventually will come time. But I think that was just another story plot made up by Peter Jackson. Now, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It was rather nice thing to do. Give us something to aw about and maybe even cry about because was it Killian Feely? I think it was those dwarves. 
they end up getting killed. Of course, defending their king, king, whom also gets killed. Now, which death was more cry e wow that that that's really hard to think about because first you got these you had these rumors going around that Peter Jackson was going to was not going to kill off Thorin and it they was just going to kill off Keeley so that would just made the movie god awful maybe I don't know it was still a really great movie either way but I think one of the, the saddest death I I kind of felt more the most was Thorns and the reason why I say Thorn it was because I literally started bawling as soon as he passed and um, really it was, it was to me one of the saddest parts of the movie because you end up liking him at, at first he's like oh he's just a really he looks like a really cool guy so I'll, I'll like him and then he c becomes a, kinda of, sort of a jerk and then at the end of the first movie he's like oh yay he's a good guy again and so then throughout the second movie he's still kind of cool trying to get everybody to um, the mountain and then of course he does so then they're fighting off the dragon Of course, the dragon goes out and destroys Dale. No, it wasn't Dale. It was uh, Lake Town. Excuse me. So he goes out and destroys Lake Town. So then, after after that battle. Of course, everybody, uh, everybody needs to find shelter because winter's coming. So they go inside Dale, hope, hoping to get inside Erebor. And of course, Thorin goes all pure evil and ceases to be the Thorin that we all know and love. And we start to hate him again. Well, I didn't really hate him. I just kind of felt bad for him because he he's crazy about that gold that just made him just sick. So after a while, he comes to his senses, realizes that you you know what? I need to pay more attention to my kin, and we need to we need to win this battle, win this war, whatever. And of course they win, but with a consequence. And someone has to die. Three people, in fact. Three major characters of the story. J.R.R. Tolkien made a very, very exciting tale for his grandkids at the time. And even though he's dead, I I really enjoyed reading The Hobbit. The Hobbit is honestly one of the only books I read front and back. Lord of the Rings, I've only read several chapters every now and then. Hell, I got the book somewhere in here that I'm still kind of trying to read every now and then. So I'm I'm either hoping that another director comes in and brings in 
either different characters for the Lord of the Rings, maybe another Lord of the Rings movie to sequel off the um, the Hobbit, or leave it alone and do the third book, which Christopher Tolkien is most likely not going to allow. Maybe, though, maybe, if he enjoyed watching The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, which I'm sure there's a lot of people who did. So, it will be very interesting if a director gets their hands on the third book, which I forgot what it's called. Well, I, I, don't, I, I didn't forget what it's called, it's just that I can't pronounce it correctly. So, that's my current review for The Hobbit movies, mixed in with a little bit of Lord of the Rings. So now I rate The Three Hobbit movies a 10 out of 5, for the reason that it made me cry. One of the only movies that made me cry. Congratulations, Peter Jackson. You made me cry. No one else is clapping with me. I don't know why. Am I really the only one who fell in love with the Hobbit movies? I mean, come on. Eh, fuck it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.